Okay guys, today we'll be building a pedal, a really really low, low cost pedals. You can make this uh, using the things around you. And that's how it should look like. Well, basically when you push it, uh, it rotates this potentiometer and that gives the PC the signal from this pins will connect it to the Arduino board and that will signal the PC. So to make this, you need a spray bottle. Any bottle will be fine. I'm using a, a it's normal spray bottle, empty it, use this one, it has four holes in it. What you want to do is just place it and make a mark over there, just do it as I'm showing in the video. And right here I've uh, made a mark, just take a drill bit and drill a hole inside there. Once you've drilled it, it should look something like that. And as you can see that through hole, make sure there's a hole properly done. What you want to do is put that connector again but underneath and then what you want to do is uh, take a screw, screw. Uh, you can take a small screw or a big screw but I'll recommend taking a small one and then using a nut to fasten it and then once you have fastened it it should, be, it, should it, it might move so you know to make it uh, stronger we need to use another one the smaller one which is will connect to the connector and to the spray water as well so you want to make the drill bit again so you have to mark it so before we'll just connect this to this uh, holes make sure you connect this properly you can use this nut and connect this once you've done this as you can see it just moves like that right we don't want that to move obviously so we need to make a mark on the spray bottle just like that make a mark and then once you have done making the mark just take the drill again and drill it so you need the drill drill it drill the spray bottle thing and once you've done that it should look like a hole like that and then place that on top of that and now take the screw and screw it in now in here you can use a longer one because you know it's a, it's a very tight space but I've done it as you can see I've done I've done everything now if you push this it it should do it so this test make sure it works if it works perfectly we can go to the next step now you know is this you see this one just make sure there's too many holes when you're taking this one this is like a sink uh, thing I'm not sure what this uh, align that to the holes and then screw it but I'm going to use this one I'm just going to use it this way. Yeah, you can use anyone which has two holes in it, like a lot of holes. Literally. That's all. Holes in it, that's fine. So now let's just fasten the thing. I'm going to use the normal screws that we were using earlier. And But you can use any ones you like. Now as you can see, I've done it. Now I'm just going to test if it works. Uh, push it. It works. Yes, it works. As you can see, how when you do that, we don't want that. Uh, we're gonna just wrap a tape around it so just take a right tape and wrap around this and make sure it's strong we want this so you know when we press the uh, pedals with our legs it might just move and uh, change direction or something you know we don't want that we want it to be strong that's why we're gonna use the tape and then strong make it strong uh, okay so this is how it should look like uh, this is how it is now what you want to do is take this uh, this is like a connector uh, just place it like that make sure that it can move freely like that why right? we don't want to construct it we just have to yeah, don't put it like inside and then you know it doesn't move anywhere okay so i've placed it underneath which which means that i can i can still move it uh but i'll just place it differently you can push place it anywhere where you know you can achieve the same goal so now I'm going to do is I'm going to have, we have to we're going to make this now. I'll show you how to make this. So you know before that the potentiometer you have to put it by the end just like that. Make sure you set the potentiometer like that. And now we're going to use this stick, ice cream stick, and mark two holes. One over there, one over there. Now use a drill bit and drill the holes now one this is a bigger hole and this is a smaller hole the reason why is because the bigger one 
the potential that will go in that hole and as you can see that's done and to make sure that it holds you can use a safety pin and I'm going to twist the safety pin and make it straight one of the end and then that will go in that you know that yeah the hole you know hole there you just have to clip it in and once you're in that's it should be done you can hot glue this or you can wrap around it uh it, it's up to you now and now obviously we have wrapped around now we're going to do this you know take the small hole and align it with that connector and then use a screw and fasten it as you can see just i've done that now the way i'm going to place it make sure you place it somewhere like uh it doesn't warp or something like that look look at that the potential better most freely don't keep it over there because that will not work place it somewhere well you know like you can properly move freely and that's it so then what we're going to do is some hot glue and then stick this part over here and that's that's it for the mechanism for now now for the base what we're going to do is make two holes on the base for for the brake one for the accelerator so i'll gonna take this accelerator that's in brake and put this inside there you can take any big box you know i'm just i'll just take a long box you know that's it and i'm just gonna take uh place properly and let's take the accelerator and place that in as well uh as you can see i've done if, uh, with the size of the contain of the spray so now what I'm going to do is uh, get the box, the other box, and then place a, like a weight or something. Or you can put a uh, put a book or something like that and stack the books on it. I've just placed a uh, you know weight on in there. It should be fine. And I'm just going to close it off the box and then put it in there. That's it. That's it for the so it won't move around so much when you press the brake and stuff like that. Make sure you have a uh, room to place your legs as well. Alright guys, for the electronic saddle part, what I've done is connected the 5 volt and ground to the Adreno or Leonardo and then I'm going to connect this to the breadboard just like that positive and negative now for the potential, I've connected this male to, uh, female to male wires uh, the, as you can see the blue wire which is as you can see over here, that's the positive and that should go on the positive of the breadboard. Yep. The purple one should go on the Adreno. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into the A1. As you can see, the A1, it says A1 over there. I'm going to plug it in there because I'm using the A0 for something else for the steering wheel. And lastly, the last wire, this will go on the negative. And with the accelerator, I have this black wire, which is the middle one, as you can see, likewise the middle one. So I'm going to connect this to the A2 port over here, A2. And then the rest two wires will go positive or negative. Show be for below. So the white one will go positive. The other one will go negative. So those are the controls for this. Okay guys, as you can see, I've made everything. I've hot glued this and I've, I've basically connected this to a really long wire. It's a blue wire which goes to the Arduino which is on top of the table. Um, and then, as you can see, I've done everything over here. If you push it, you know it works, it just stays there. Right, the pedals work. So now I'll show you how to code it. So we'll go on the PC. So onto the PC, what you want to do is download this folder called Arduino Liano Do Stuff. The link's in the description. Open this folder and you want to open the second one which is called Steering Wheel Pedal Skills. And click on this folder, open the app. This is the Arduino app. Make sure you download have this Arduino app up to date and stuff. Um, and make sure your Arduino is connected. 
so making sure everything is working for you uh, we want to go sketch include library and add the library and then you want to search for the place where you have uh, kept the folder called Arduino Leandro stuff open the folder and click on the first folder and press open now what this will do is add the library that's inside the folder to the Arduino software for me it says already exists for you it will say already done or something like that now after this you just want to uh, upload the code to the Arduino so upload this and while this is uploading I would like to say that you just want to make sure that when you touch the potentiometer over here make sure it's not warm if it if it is getting warm then that's a red flag we don't want that because that means that the wires are not connected properly so make sure the connections are properly done so now that the code is uploaded to the Arduino what will we want to do is go in the start menu uh, search bar and search search for the application called uh, controller that's set up for USB game controllers click on that and then you want to click on Arduino Leonardo then you find that this is the setup and when you press this it does work but just goes halfway through what we want is to calibrate this so we go settings we go calibrate we press next 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 now you just have to make sure that if it is uh, let's see if there's a signal no there's no signal no it's not doing anything so we press next if it is working okay this is for the brakes so we go all the way in and all the way out all the way in all the way out all the way in all the way out and that's it now this is for the accelerator all the way in all the way out all the way in all the way out all the way in all the way out and then press next we don't have any more so press next next and then finish and now you can see that you know I press it it does go all the way and for the brakes it also goes all the way so that's done now let's run the game and let's see how it works and then let's do all the uh, settings for the game hey okay guys as you can see we're in the game now so what we want to do is go in options you want to go in controls and you want to select go on top over here drop down menu and then select keyboard plus Arduino Leonardo and then what you want to do is scroll down scroll down scroll down over here in this settings where there's acceleration axis and brakes axis for now what you want to do is um, I've already done it so I'll, I'll show you how to do it you basically what you have to do is press on this and then do this right and then press the accelerator right so that will assign it to this and then press the other one draw X and then press the brakes so now you have the brake now 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 but then what you have to do is go in this invert it and select centered and then for the other one for the brakes press select centered as well so now when you press it will actually accelerate instead of accelerating already so now let's go into the game let's go back from this menu and test out if this actually works we go drive as you can see I'm, I'm already accelerating I'll break so it break now if I want to accelerate I will accelerate right now just press this button and then I'm accelerating right now I'll just join this road pretty quick. Yeah, I'm not staring, isn't, I haven't set that up yet. Uh, as you can see, it does accelerate. And if I just press the brake now, yes, it does brake. So, let's start again. It starts. And if I won't press it 
it's the bay it still accelerates but at a slower rate so even just that that same goes for the brake as well if i press some of the brakes it will stop uh, slowly and then it will eventually stop there okay guys so that's all that's all for today thanks for watching bye